Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. I got myself an early Christmas present. I'm excited to show you guys this. So let's break it open and take a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of my new aim cam glasses. The AIMCAM Pro 3K video glasses feature a camera that can shoot up to 3K footage at 24 frames per second, sturdy and comfortable TR90 frames, and interchangeable safety rated lenses. Prescription mounts and full seal models for airsoft and such are available on AIMCAM's website. If you're interested in purchasing a pair after watching this review, then be sure to use the link in the description box along with the code JEDITV to get 10% off any order with AIMCAM. I purchased the standard kit with my AIMCAM video glasses, and that included the following. First, some nose pads, some extra camera mounts, an Allen wrench for tightening the camera onto the frames, and a little micro tool. Then, yellow lenses, dark gray lenses, clear lenses, small hard-sided case, cleaning cloth, soft carrying bag, adjustable head strap, charging cable, instruction manual, a pair of the polarized lenses, and a 64 gigabyte memory card. Whew, that's a great package at a great price. One of the things that makes these aim cam glasses so unique is the movable camera. It can be adjusted along the brow area of the glasses so that it lines up directly to your line of sight, hence the name, AIMCAM. And we'll get into my full thoughts on that feature later. First, we need to address the initial problem I had with this first pair of AIMCAM glasses. The first pair of 3K glasses I received had a glitch in the firmware that would not allow the glasses to boot up. All they did was buzz. And as you can see, that's all I get. So frustrated, I sent an email to their customer service late on a Friday night, and I was pleasantly surprised to get a response back from the CEO that same evening. He assured me that he would make everything right with my order and have it shipped out to me ASAP. So I waited another week for a new pair of glasses to show up and I took them to the range. Here's a quick look at some of what I captured. Stand by. And that was the very best shot I was able to get out of the six stages that I filmed. As you can imagine, I wasn't real happy with that view. Don't get me wrong, I'm certain that these would work for other shooting disciplines, especially those using a single firearm. For example, if you were just using a pistol, you could simply line up the camera down your line of sights on the barrel and you'd have a great view. Same if you were using a shotgun. And I've seen several good videos of these aim cam glasses being used that way. But for me and what I do, the Pro 3K wasn't going to get the job done. The camera just doesn't have a wide enough angle. It isn't getting enough of the firearms and the targets and the general surrounding area in the shot. Plus, the camera sits up too high on the glasses and was getting far too much of my hat. Now, granted, Sometimes I wear a large brim hat and in a lot of other shooting sports where the shooter isn't wearing a hat or is just in a baseball cap, that wouldn't be an issue. I also tried filming with these aim cams while operating the timer. To me, being able to use the camera in this way to capture a close-up shot of another shooter 
makes for a great view for folks watching the channel, since it's like being right there with the shooter. It's a heck of a good way to see transitions and really get a feel for the sport firsthand, and it captures this view without distracting the shooter with a bunch of obvious and sometimes intimidating camera gear. Even this view didn't come out as well as some video glasses I've used in the past. But when mixed with other footage, it was usable to some extent. So it was looking to me like the AIMCAM 3K just wasn't the right tool for me and for what I do here on Jedi TV. It just wasn't checking the boxes. So I wrote another letter to AIMCAM's CEO, Jamie, expressing these thoughts to him, figuring that I'd just return these glasses and list my findings under the bad in my review. But after hearing my comments, concerns, and if you will, complaints, Jamie actually offered to fix me up with a more custom setup. And don't worry, if you decide that you want this same setup, AIMCAM can fix you up with it as well. Maybe we'll call it AIMCAM, the Jedi TV edition. All joking aside, AIMCAM really does work to provide excellent customer service, and we'll address that later in this review. Right now, I want to talk about the setup we worked out for me. I went with the Pro 2i frame, a 90 degree field of vision camera, and these new metal locking arms to hold the camera to that Pro 2i frame. One of my other concerns was the plastic mounting arms on the previous model. Personally, I felt like I could easily strip them out trying to tighten down the camera to the frame of the glasses. I can say that I'm much more impressed with these alloy locking arms, which, as of the time of this recording, are not listed on the website, but they should be soon. Of course, these Pro 2 eye glasses came with all of the same goodies that the Pro 3K glasses did. Plus, AIMCAM hooked me up with a bunch of additional lenses for the glasses. And some hats. So I'll throw these hats in the Jedi van, and if you see me at a shoot, just let me know you want a hat, and it's all yours. While supplies last, first come, first serve. Now, did the new setup work? Let's take a look. And how about the view operating the timer? One, two, three, middle. Yes, here we go. I think that is much better. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section of this video. Now, a quick recap of my thoughts on the AIMCAM Pro 2i and my general experience with AIMCAM, starting with the good. Customer service. I have no complaints here. They did what they could to satisfy me and made it clear that if I was not satisfied, they'd refund my money. Personally, I don't ask for more than that. Comfort and quality. These glasses are extremely comfortable. I'm able to wear them for an entire match without any issues, which is more than I can say for some of the other shooting glasses I've tried where I had to swap them out and only use them while I was filming. The AIM cams feel very similar to my typical Wiley X shooting glasses. So I just kept them on for the entire match and then reached up to turn them on as I walked to the firing line. Which brings me to my next point, ease of use. All of the controls on the aim cam glasses are simple to use. Press and hold this button to power on. Press the same button briefly once to record and once again 
to stop. This back button controls the Wi-Fi. Turn it on with a long press, off with another long press, and that same button, when pressed briefly, is used to take a photo. All of these buttons provide haptic feedback through the glasses so that you can feel what's going on without having to necessarily look at the buttons. You can also connect via the AIMCAM app to the glasses over a Wi-Fi connection and control them that way as well as view and download both a live feed and any footage recorded to the onboard micro SD card. Battery life. AIMCAM claims up to 90 minutes. I didn't test that number. All I can say is it got me through a six stage match even when I left them on for long periods of time, either before or after shooting a stage. And finally, AIMCAM video shooting glasses come with a one year warranty. The bad. I would like a wider angle lens. I still don't feel like it's capturing enough to give a true first person experience. I would also like better image stabilization, something more along the lines of what you get with a GoPro. Whether that's possible in a camera so small, I don't know. But the footage that I'm getting from the aim cam when I'm moving through a stage is still pretty shaky. My opinion. There's no doubt that this is a quality product. Does it need some refinement? Yes. But aim cam is working on that. And if they keep at it, if they keep adapting to what their customers want, then they have great potential to be successful. Personally, I'd like to see them become the GoPro of this product market. We need some real quality safety rated video camera shooting glasses. And I haven't been able to find anything yet that comes as close as AIMCAM does. I've tried the iViews. They aren't safety rated, so I won't use them while shooting, which kind of defeats the purpose of why I bought them. I've tried the pivot heads, and those were pretty good video glasses, but the frames were very heavy and uncomfortable, especially when compared to these aim cam glasses. And it seems as though pivot head is no longer in business, so there's no update to the firmware on these glasses. So again, I'm hoping for much long-term success for the folks at aim cam. And I'm looking forward to mixing the footage from these pro 2 i video glasses into future episodes of Jedi TV. Now, with all of that said, I hope I answered any questions you might have about the AIMCAM video shooting glasses. If not, meet me in the comments section and we'll address them there. Again, if you're interested in purchasing a pair for yourself, use the link in the description box of this video, along with the code JEDITV, to get 10% off from your purchase. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. Would you grab my camera and just put it out of the line of fire? Woo! Some risky shots! <laughs>